One bell has been rung, and the other is yet to come. Welcome back to Dark Souls, and it is high time that we venture down into the, whatever this area is called, the lower undead type area. We are equipped with our new uh, scimitar. Uh, I would still really love to find some pants, if I'm being quite honest. We're a little bit, uh, it's a little bit breezy right now, I will say. But, um, here we go. Here goes nothing. Whole unexplored area. Alright, we've got a... A dog there. Oh, we've got several dogs. Oh, they've got, uh, like a poison of some kind, maybe? I don't know really know what that status effect is. Oh, these are brutal. All right, let's let's orient ourselves properly. Okay. Okay. Again, I don't really know what that status effect is. Is that uh, poison or or disease or I don't know, but. I'm glad that we had our shield there, but we're already down to three flasks. I'm guessing we're going to be doing a lot of running and trying to uh, escape these dog creatures. Assuming that they're prevalent, which I'm sure they will be. Alright. Now, we did get a key from one of our vendors that said that it opened some residences, so... Magic ahead. I'm curious. Somebody! Aha! Uh -huh. Please, let me out of here. Somebody! Anybody! Help me! Unlock the door! Damn. I'm finished. How did this ever happen? Can we unlock the door? Oh, we can! I think. Yeah, residence keys. That, see, this is exactly what I was just talking about. See, buying random keys uh, pays off. Brilliant. You opened the door for me. Thank you. I'm saved. I thought I might never escape. I am Griggs of Vinheim, a sorcerer of the school. Mm. I am much obliged for your assistance. Another magic Thanks lad. You, I may now resume my travels. Okay. I mean, magic doesn't have a whole lot of utility for us at this point. Oh, hello. I'm fine. I will rest a while, then return to Firelink Shrine. I have my sorcery. And I will be more cautious next time. Besides, I have an important task at hand. Oh, well, don't bury the lead. What is your important task? Oh, hello. I'm fine. Okay. Well, I guess we'll let it be a surprise, huh? I have my sorcery. And I will be more let me just destroy these time. barrels for you. Besides, oh, hello. Task at hand. Hello. Hang on. Oh, sorcerer hat, cloak, gauntlets, and boots. Um, and a catalyst. Oh, hello. Okay. Fine. Well, I don't think one. any of that is going to be super helpful for us. I'm pretty sure. A sorcerer hat. No. Nope. Uh, the chest, almost certainly not. The gauntlets, it's probably just going to be better at, at magic defense. Uh, let's see. Oh, we're so close to being able to put on these steel leggings, but I don't want to go over 50% uh, of our, of our uh, equipment load. Man, there really is no pants slot, is there? I mean, there's, I guess this is pants, huh? We get a little loincloth and some uh, some steel greaves, but one day... I swear to you, I will find pants. This is my vow. And we will rejoice upon that day. Okay. Be wary of right. Ooh, yeah, there's like a whole mob. Okay, how can I how can I upvote this? Uh let's see. I've gotta change my Yeah. How do I use it? I press uh R, rate message. 
Yes. Now is there 24? Yeah, there we go. See, we're contributing. We're contributing already to the community. Isn't that nice? All right, we're just going to go ahead and draw them out. And let's just see how powerful these guys are. All right, let's try not to be set ablaze. Okay, decent start. Let's go ahead and get our heals prepped and ready to go. There's still three more of them there. One here. All right. Good job to us. We will head over there in a second. Let's just check this real quick. Dark. Dark and souls. Both are present in this game. Ooh, yikes. Oh, wow. Okay, hang on. Did not expect that. I guess uh, fire beats shield, huh? Makes sense. Alright, I just need to stop trying to get cute and use that heavy attack. There we go. Well, this may just be our little uh, exploratory run. We only have one heal left. That's the way of these things, isn't it? Twin humanities. Okay, that's good. So, that did not contribute to our humanity total on the left-hand side. Can we go through here? No. Okay. Uh, I guess maybe only... I don't know what you would call it. Single humanities contribute to our humanity total? Maybe? Possibly? Alright, let's be methodical. This looks like a place we can get through. And yet, it is not. Imminent trap. What would the trap be? Is there... Is that like a boulder in the tower or something that would... crush us? Imminent pincer attack. Oh, so people are going to be coming out from the left and right, huh? ready. I heard something there. Oh, there we are. Oh, thanks for the heads up. Oh, I got staggered there. All right, that probably wasn't sm very smart. Uh-oh. All right. All right. Well, uh, on the plus side... We, uh, we really only have to... Yeah, we'll just go from here again. We really only have to, uh... Go down that, that one, um... Area again. We don't need to worry about... Going to the right this time. Uh-oh! I'm gonna... Alright. Yep. Yep. Good stuff. I mean, we, we really didn't have any souls that were important, but whatever. Uh-oh. Doors. Doors are our enemy, apparently. Alright. I guess we've got to take care of these guys, because they're just going to keep following us. Oh, hello. We don't... I don't know. Did we... Yeah, that's where we came down the stairs, right? Okay, only one guy followed us. We do have these dogs to deal with, though. Now, I wonder, uh, is this a good time to maybe um, experiment with our bow? Oh, whoops. As I was saying, uh, I gotta get used to these hotkeys. The shift up. Alright, I would like to... So I guess I've gotta stow my shield, right? How do I... 
aim and fire. Let's see if we can do that. Oh, where's the... Where's the targeting? Man, there's not much of a crosshair, is there? Oh. a little confusing. Okay, so just for science, um, let's just fire off an arrow and just see how this is going to be working. Like that. And then where exactly do I aim it at? I wonder, can I lock on? Oh. Okay. Yeah, I bet you if I lock on to something, then it will automatically guide to hit that uh, enemy. Come on. Oh, come on. There we are. These guys take about three hits to, to deal with. Okay. Pincer attack. Oh. What is that? Oh yikes! They got a uh, they got behind me and did like an uh, assassination roll, I guess. Okay, that guy's got some arrows. Can I get behind this guy? Okay. Hmm. Okay, let's deal with these spy fellas. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna sprint through. And then turn around and face them like, oh, there's... Okay. Well, they got me again, apparently. Oh, and they got me twice in a row? That hardly seems fair. Okay, let's face towards them. Let's not get insta-killed again from behind. All right. I think we're okay. So why don't we check the rooms from which they sprung. That one's clear. Oh. Hello. Mail breaker. As in, like, committing postal fraud or, like, mail as in chain armor. There's no way to tell. <laughs> St uh, standard small thrusting sword, unsharpened but pointed solid. Shaft can pierce... Oh, but pointed solid shaft can pierce tough armor. Yeah, I always say that we need a good pointed solid shaft to get anything done around here. Can be thrust using the weight of one's body and is very effective for critical attacks. Hmm. So what kind of... What are we rolling with right now? This would not be as effective, it looks like, right? Scimitar 109 versus 75. Interesting, though. Interesting. All right, and then somebody came from here, I think, right? Sometimes a room is just a room. So I guess in the future, we can just sort of sprint past these, uh, s these like, assassin dudes, depending on what we find down here, right? I mean, Dark Souls, like, 90% of it is just sprinting past things that you've got no time for. I'm locked on and I don't want to be. Oh, got a little bit of lag there. Ah, uh, sometimes I... Sometimes I lock on at the worst possible times. And that was one of them. Okay. Well, the fact remains that we're not really doing a whole lot of parrying. Uh, uh, so, as much as I hate to, like... Go back to our old reliable, it's like... 
Maybe we want it. Maybe we do want to, you know? Just because, like, we're not getting really many opportunities to parry. Oh, come on. Oh, it's the worst. That's like the most infuriating thing ever. Just like hitting your col hitting those columns. Okay. Well, why don't we go deal with these guys? Because I assume they're going to spawn again. Oh, we're way too heavy. So this is a problem. Alright, we'll deal with that in a second. Yeah, we're one-shotting these guys now. So as much as I like the idea of rolling with, like, the scimitar and, uh, shield... Let's see, we want to unequip that, right? To get down to 29.8. Oh, we're still a little bit heavy. So we want to... I guess we could just unequip the bow for now. 29.3, that's 58. Yeah, that should be fine. That one will two-hand it. Yeah, man, I really want to experiment, but there's, like, not, like, stuff that's super compelling in terms of being useful to me right at, at this exact moment. I want to try to draw them out. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so much, so much better. So much more reassuring than struggling with... Oh, hello. Well, that sucks. Oh, hello. Large soul of the lost undead. Oh, that's nice. Oh, this guy's alive. He could have attacked me in any second. Um, as I was saying, it's this is this is a lot more enjoyable right now than than struggling along trying to force the scimitar to work. I don't know. Ooh, thief mask, black leather armor, black leather gloves, black leather boots. And a target shield. Um, that to me sounds like a like a like Dex type armor. So once we get up to here, before we push our way through, try eliminating one at a time. And left ahead. Okay. Let's just pause for a second. Does the is the thief stuff uh, helpful at all? Um, not there. Black leather armor. It's lighter. 138 down to 127. Yeah, I don't know about that. So 138, 163 versus... Yeah, that's not too bad. I mean, that does get us a little bit of um, breathing room in our capacity. Black leather boots. Oh man, these guys have pants. And defense against magic. 130. Why don't we do it? Why don't we roll with this for a while, actually? I know that it lessens our armor. But look at that, we've got a proper set of pants, which is really all I wanted to accomplish from this episode, so... Mission accomplished. Okay, let's read this one more time. Try eliminating one at a time. Got it. And left ahead. Okay. Eliminating one at a time. Oh, boss time. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> we did not... even get a chance to roll away. Not get a chance to roll away. Okay, I'm assuming by eliminate one at a time, it's saying eliminate one, like, kill the little guys first before trying to kill the, the big guy. Wow. Well, now we know who the who the the boss is. The Capper Demon, I think it's said. I want to say that uh, that. Let's see, actually, if we could just run through here without having to fight the dogs. Or the spies, or anybody, really. It may not be possible. Okay, let's let ourselves 
Uh, oh, rolling may not be a good idea there. All right, excuse me. Excuse me. I don't think they can hit us while we're traversing the right. All right, dogs have been taken care of. Okay, can I can I get away real quick, please, just for a second? Okay. Now I'll fall down here. Yep. Okay, where is he? All right, there he is. Oh, he's got that triple attack. Ah, shoot. Okay. Okay, I, I, we got it. We've got it, no problem. I just, uh, I did not effectively manage my stamina. Okay, here we go. Get in there. Mm, wow. Okay. Okay. I feel like this is the one. Come on, baby. Let's go. Oh, that little stagger. Come on. Get in there. Get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there. Let's just traverse the light. Alright, chug, chug, chug. Now we're gonna roll off the edge. Yep, perfect. Ooh, hello. Can we roll past him? We can run past him. Okay. We're in a good spot. Come on. Go down. Let's disengage. Let's run up here again. Actually, this is kind of a good cheese. We'll go up here. We'll chug. Roll off the edge. Come on, one more hit. There we go. All right. Not too shabby. Oh, hello. More dogs. Oh, and all these guys, too. Okay. Hang on. <laughs> Let's not rejoice quite yet. Oh, yeah. Get wrecked. Get wrecked, nerd. I just beat your boss. Yeah. Oh, boy. All right. And we got 6,000 souls. So now is the time to use the Homeward Bone, or do we look around? I guess if there's nothing else in here of interest, then we then we for sure will use the bone. But this, this dresser looks like it could be wrecked. Maybe not. All right, never mind. Okay, so now I did it. Yes. Yes, we did. All right, well, let's get rid of this guy first. Get a few extra souls to take with us. We will use the homeward bone. I just I just want to make sure that there's nothing else that we're trying to to snag around here. The key to the depths. That's not something that's used here, is it? I guess not. Oh, hello. Oh, come on. Really? You're going to rain on my parade just like that? Okay. Let's go ahead and... I guess we'll use it, right? There's nothing else to see around here. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything, but I, I don't know that I am. So, um, where is the thing? Homeward Bone, yeah. Let's go ahead and... Uh, how, do I, how do I use it? Hello? I guess I have to do it from my my uh, inventory, huh? Yes. Let's do that. Alright. Not too bad. 
Not too bad, guys. Uh, I'm proud of us. And I believe that gets us the ability to level up. Yeah, sure does. So why don't we just keep... Um, yeah, keep rolling with a little bit more vitality, I guess. There we go. I accept. Okay, so now... <laughs> There was no bell to ring, right? Am I crazy? Am I crazy? I feel like there is somewhere else that we need to go to um, to find wherever that bell is. So I guess we'll repeat what we did last time, where I will search and maybe bring you guys back when I figure out where we're supposed to go. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I'll see you in a minute. Okay. I think this is where we're supposed to go. I am bloodied, beaten, but unbowed. Uh, so this is the room in which we fought the demon. And if you'll notice, there's this little staircase just tucked off here to the right. And uh, methinks this is where we're supposed to go. Now, we're only sitting on two flasks because I had to battle through quite a lot of BS. Be wary of left, huh? Thank you. Uh, well, you know, we'll... We'll honor. We'll honor that uh, little rating of our own. There we go. Uh, anyway. Only two, uh, only two healing things here. Okay. Splash one bogey. But hopefully a bonfire is in our near future. All right, nothing too challenging yet. Ooh, Hollow Thief's tights. That is pretty tight. Let's see. How is that in comparison to what we are rolling with here? Thief's tights. Uh, worse in every way. Except it's lighter, but I don't really care about that. All right. Let's hope we get ourselves a bonfire soon. All right, there's something in there. Got it. Uh, there's a creepy door. Large soul of an undead. Ooh, now we really need a bonfire because I think we have enough uh, with our current souls count to uh, plus the the soul, the extra little bit of souls to level up. All right, key to the depth. So that's where we're going next, clearly. And usually, I want to say towards the beginning of a um, an area, there's usually a, a bonfire. Oh, hello. So let's take them out. This is interesting. I don't know where this would be. Huh. Try not to fall to our doom. Can't, can't go up any farther there. What? Oh, this is... I don't like this. One bit. There's some water down here. Oh. Oh, there's a guy here. Hello. Well, hang on. Let me make sure there's nobody behind me first. Wouldn't that be some, bull, some BS? Alright, I think we're in the clear for the time being, but let's chat. You still have your senses about you. Then why won't you buy some of my moss? I need your souls. <laughs> your moss. So the moss, those are the consumables, right? Let's just keep uh, talking first. This is a wonderful place, don't you think? We have water, moss, moisture, these nice iron bars. I like it, hmm. I really do. Well, when you put it Nothing like that. Nothing ever happened to me in life. But now that I'm undead, I've never been happier. That's really great. I'm actually really happy for you. You've come to this land at a bad time. There were nothing but hollows in these parts. Save for me, of course. You're undead too, aren't you? You be careful then. <laughs> I am attempting to be careful. It doesn't always work out that way for me. Go down along the side to reach the depths of the undead bird. 
Only the young French crooks and liars to be found there. Hardly a place for a lady like myself. No, hardly. But who knows? Maybe you'd fit right in. <laughs> so this waterway is like a little bit of a shortcut, maybe? Okay. We're repeating ourselves now. So let's go ahead and take a look at what she has to offer. We are sitting on a decent chunk of souls right now. And I have no idea when we're going to be going to a bonfire next. So if there's something that's tempting, I would uh, I would be okay with it. All right. Blood Red Moss Club reduces bleeding, reduces poison, reduces poison and toxin. Poison throwing knife. Dung Pie turns enemy toxic, but also affects the player. Throw an enemy to build up toxins, but also builds up your toxicity. Uh, I don't know about that. Charcoal Pine Resin. Ooh, applies fire to right-hand weapon. That actually sounds somewhat decent, maybe. Transient Curse. Temporary Curse allows engagement with ghosts. Limb of the Victim of a Curse. Temporary Curse allows engagement with ghosts. The only way to fight back against ghosts who are cursed beings is to become cursed oneself. The safest method, however dreadful, is to cut off an arm of the dead. It's quite pricey. It's sitting at 4,000, so that would pretty much clean us out. But allows engagement with ghosts. So when it says engagement, does that mean like a combat engagement, like fighting them, or does it mean talking? Because if it means like talking, then I would be very interested in that. Uh, rotten pine resin, add, yeah, add poison, prism stone. The rainbow stone does nothing special, but can serve as a path marker and can be dropped off a cliff to judge height by the sound of its descent. If a loud noise is heard upon its landing, then a fall off the ledge is surely lethal. That is kind of handy. And humanity at uh, 5,000. Okay, transient curse. Is that something we want to invest in? I'm going to take it. I don't know. Is that is that stupid? Possibly. Come again. I haven't always made the, the smartest decisions, but given that we're only sitting on, like, half a bar of health and two, two flasks, I'm okay with using this now. So, why don't we switch this out for... Where's the curse? Temporary curse allows engagement with ghosts. Okay. Now, so for these items that have one on it, it's like... It's not literally a one-time use, right? It just means there's one of them. I'm hoping. use Because th this soapstone is not only usable once. It can be used a, a, a quite a few times. And also, what we want to do is switch this out for um, the little locket that we bought. Yeah, prevents Estus recovery. There we go. Lloyd's Talisman. Oh, Alright, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and see what there is to see down this path. So I guess there's multiple ways to get into the lower level, because you could either fight the Capra Demon, get the key to the depths, or you could come up here and... Oh, is that the rat down there? Oh, I bet you it is. I bet you that's the rat down there. And this is the... This is the door. Uh, along the waterway. And so, yeah, if, you w if we went down here and went to the left, that would be the Firelink Shrine. Actually, that's not a terrible idea. We're going into a brand new area. Alright, he sees us. Okay. I see him. I'm gonna avoid him. Oh, really? Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Alright, let's heal up. 
So my thought is, let's go down, let's rest at the shrine, at the Firelink Shrine. Because it's a kindled bonfire, we'll get uh, 10 flasks, right? Which would be super nice for exploring a brand new area. Why can't we do it? Oh, because they're we've got a little trail of zombies here. Okay, fine. All right, let's rest. Um, what do we need to level up? We need fifty-two hundred. And we're sitting... Actually, let's access this bottomless box. That's This is the first time that we've done it. Um, I guess we can move some stuff in there that we don't really use regularly. That's just kind of obsolete. Uh, let's see. Like the short sword. How do I... Uh, home and end. Okay. The long sword we'll throw in there. Broken straight sword. We've got a ton of broken straight swords. Claymore for the strength. The Svihander we don't need. Scimitar we'll keep. The Mailbreaker we'll throw in there. Battle Axe we'll throw in there. The Winged Spear. Halberd, maybe we'll hang on to for the fun of it. Looser, maybe we'll hang on. Shortbow, we keep. Crossbow, we keep. Sorcerer's Catalyst, don't really need. Got a bunch of different types of shields. I guess I should take some time to sort through them. Um, let's see. Where is their weight? Oh, the bottom right-hand corner. So... Okay, well, maybe we'll just hang on to the shields for the time being. Uh, what else? Keys, Titanite shards. All these items we'll keep with us. Arrows we'll keep with us. Some of these armors maybe we'll, um... We'll throw in there that we don't need, like this mask. Mask of the Child. Standard helm I have a hard time seeing us using... Um, all the sorcerer stuff we'll throw in there. Hollow soldier helm, sure. Hollow soldier waist cloth. Balder armor we're rocking. We'll keep the leggings around. We'll keep the tights around. And that's, that's good, I think. Okay. So I guess, thinking it through, it kind of cleans up our inventory just a little bit. Uh, on the off chance that we want to, um, just sort through items a bit quicker. Let's see if he has anything new to say. Have you been to the ruins of New Londo below? Just head down the stairs and take the lift. It's certainly worth a visit. It was once an undead city. You may find a clue or two, unless the ghosts find you first. <laughs> New Londo City. I guess that's... Okay, we'll try to make time for that. How did that nutty sorcerer make it back? Unexpected. But I suppose stranger things have happened. How did that raggedy old chum end up? You know, the one who idolized some godmother of pyromancy. He left for Blighttown, but never came back. Whereas most flee from sickness, he dives right in. Is that the guy that we saved? Nothing will harm him once he goes home. The, uh, the, the sorcerer who was in that locked room? This is a really annoying message. Mm -hmm. What now? I'm not up Okay. Much. Let's head on back. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling confident. We, uh, we handled that boss pretty handily. know. Not to say that's going to happen every time, but it's nice when it does happen. Ooh. 
Okay. Doing a little bit of light farming along the way. So now this is open for us. And there's our shopkeeper here at the end in a second. There she blows. And now we're rocking a very tidy 10 flasks. Very nice to have. We've got this archer guy here we've got to take out. And I think we are ready to venture into the depths. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is where we're going next. So why don't we take a break here? Um, hope you enjoyed uh, our first foray into... Well, it wasn't really the depths. It was like the mid-depths, the pre-depths. Uh, and fighting Capra Demon. Not too bad. The, the design was super cool. I wish I had more time to just like... I don't, I don't know. I wish there was like a little mini, like, just like for the pinwheel guy, just like a little bit of a uh, cutscene, just so we can kind of see the boss who we're about to fight and appreciate their, their, um, you know, what they look like before we dive right in. But I don't know. Anyway, so uh, next time, Blighttown, I guess. And with that, I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.